shut the door. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Friday evening, everybody. Today is March the 12th. It is Friday evening. I hope y'all are having a fantastic night. Tonight, we, uh, we get the awesome pleasure of doing a virtual craft room tour with Miss Jill Robbins. Say hello, Jill. Hello. And it's set day and it's 12.30 at p.m. So it's not night, it's lunch. It's lunchtime for her. It's almost <laughs> bedtime for me. <laughs> Jill, tell us where you are. Where do you so live? I live in Endeavour Hills, which is southeast of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. And I'm sitting in my very, very small study sewing junk craft room. <laughs> well, I am I am super excited to take a sneak peek into your craft room today. And I've been excited about it all week. I just want to send out an invitation to everyone who's watching before we get started with Jill's room. If you would like to share your crafting space, whether it's a bedroom, a basement, a section in the attic, a section in your bedroom, we would love to see it. We would love to see your space, your supplies, the way you organize. We would love to see it. So I'm just sending out an invitation. If you would like to share your space, all the ways to get in contact with me are in the description box. You can click on any of the links and send me a message and we'll set it up. We would love to see your space. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we are live right this minute. If you're in the live chat and you have a question for Jill as she starts showing us around, you can type it out. If you type it out in all caps, it's easier for me to see. Otherwise, feel free to chat and hang out with one another while we have some time this Friday evening. Miss Jill, I want yes. you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your favorite genres of crafting. Oh. Famous, well, crafting. Well, I used to do, I do, do scrapbooking and I do card making and eating is a good crafting thing. <laughs> um, Zooming with friends is what's been really good crafting the last 12 months or so because we had, we had a really long, lock, really strict long lockdown. So um, the first one wasn't so great and I did, you know the diamond dots things oh yeah yeah so i did some of those because the first lockdown it didn't do my headspace really well uh because we were because we like most of us we didn't know what covid was like and i'd had breathing issues because we'd had bushfire smoke where i couldn't leave the house because i was coughing so we were a bit antsy so um the first lot was no good and then in the middle of the year i think july we we were relieved for three weeks where we didn't have any and we were out and about. Then we went to another lockdown and that's when our neighbourhood house, who I'm the chair of, we started Zooming with our craft group. So we, we were Zoomed sort of. But, so that's got the quilting going. In the first lockdown, I took up quilting again because I belonged to a quilting group and I had found a block of the month that I'd done some of and nearly through and I had all the bits come and I thought, oh, yeah, I was tidying up. Oh, I'll keep this fabric. And then I thought, I'll keep it, the patterns. And then we had a bed delivered. I know that sounds stupid, but behind me there's a coat rack, and in it was the squares that I had made. So I then finished my quilt at the beginning of last year, and there was so much left over. I then started my COVID quilt, which I did with a few other people. And got back into the quilting and I've been quilting I think we counted the other day I've since January last year I've completed about 12. Wow. Where before it took me forever. So right. yeah. <laughs> good. So now, good. And I used to sew before I mean I've always sewn I've made a couple of wedding dresses and stuff for the kids but I've always sewn so mm -hmm. I, I've just got back into the sewing and it's been therapy I, I nearly every day I've today I'm itchy because I've finished a quilt I've got a panel here for a girlfriend that she wanted she had a kit I don't know how old it was but I made it like two days so I'm I'm itching looking for something else to sew so <laughs> right. I know that feeling I know that feeling all right so what I would like is if you can 
rearrange your camera so that we can yes. get a tour of your space and feel free to show us your crafting gadgets, any projects you have laying around, how you organize. Okay. It's your tour. We're just along for the ride. Okay. I think I'm going to turn myself around so okay. it's long ways. Okay. So this is the view from my study where I well, sit outside. Before you get, before you get started, uh, we get to see a lot more if you flip. There you okay. go. We can see a lot more. Okay. So this is how I look out my window. And there's a – I use the word shitty because there's a little kid that keeps kicking the football against the fence for hours on end. It does my head in. <laughs> So this is where I sit. I roll back. Um, you can see it's a plastic owl to keep the birds out of the deck. And over here is my scan and cut with my dust cover, which is a tea towel that I got as a kitchen tea present. Yeah, I see you have your phone stand there. Yeah, that was the one. I combined the two. I made it fatter from your um, pattern, it usually sits down here. That was me trying to balance it. And here's my scan and cut with the, uh, you would understand this check, half cut and mirror. Because Very in the beginning, I forgot to mirror things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so, a yeah. good idea. That's a good idea to put that on there as a reminder. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It helps, but it doesn't work. And then when I come to Zoom, there's my old Mac. Um, in the cup, it's got a really thin, whoops, half inch by eight inch ruler that I find really handy. It's got the, the, the roller press that my son gave me. Where is it there? The seams, it's got the yum picker. And there's my little bowl that I learnt to make out of someone who does um, pre-motion quilting. I've got a couple of books, so that sits usually on my sewing machine with the crap. There's my muesli bars and mints. And because I have no space, you'll see in a minute, this holds my templates that I made on my scan and cut. And down here is a bag for all my rulers. So as you can see, I've made it. Because you'll see, I have no space. Then I'll sing back. And then this is where all my um, paper craft stuff is. And I mentioned before I did diamond dots, there's Daisy. And the first one, she's still hanging on the skirt hanger with my map of America so I can find everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had this conversation, if you remember. So here's more rubbish, my bins. This is a, when I do my washing and it's raining, or the plastic bags for my recycling, um, when it's wet weather, it holds clothes. But at the moment, it's got two quilts that need quilting and a panel. Then is the door is exciting and it, beside the door because I said I have no space hanging up is my ironing mat and then in another bag my mats for my scan and cut and then up top is the box has got some fabric in it and then again another another quilt that I just finished and like all good quilters the crap corner bookcase that has again you can see the vinyl for the scan and cut uh stilt costume that was on was it cherry's website she was showing a picture so i did a compare so it's got a stilt stilt dress again another bookcase it's not doing really well the room's really small sorry people that's better and then you come round to the window and i told you it was a really small room and uh, some drawers that have my bits and pieces in them. My sewing machine that I swing round to the table when I sew. Uh, my new chair that I bought yesterday because the old one, the gas went out of it. 
And then here's the rest. My cupboard, stand back. The top shelf has got, I want to, lots of bits and pieces. My, my threads, some scraps for men on patchworking, patchworking fabric, work in progress. My fabric, then scrapbooking, an old sewing machine hiding behind there, and old dress patterns. And that's the tour. That's my room. Done. Okay, well, while you're standing up, uh, Cheryl asked, oh, please, let us have a look at your quilts. Can you open up the quilt that you moved over to the side? Are you able to open that up so we can take a really good look at that? I'll grab them. And the other three, and I'll take them down to my design wall. You're going to laugh at this. I cannot wait to see them. And while you're walking down there, Trinita had asked, do you like doing, do you like making rag quilts? I made, oh, many years ago, is, you know, when, are they called chevron when it's the same sort of thing where you slice them? Right. I made one of those for my nephew because he was sick in hospital. And I bought fabric to do a second one. I'll show you what happened to that fabric. This is a this is a quilt that I did through a Benina sew along. So this is my favorite quilt. So that's on my bed. So this is my design wall. Can you see it? <laughs> it's my bed. <laughs> I love that you use your bed as your design wall. Yeah, that's my design wall. And he and he's my assistant. It doesn't like me zooming. <laughs> so I will put the first quilt out, but I'll just put it down. Sorry. Is this the quilt she was asking about? I believe this so. Yeah, I believe that's that's the one. I'm going to make you bigger so we can see a really good view of it. Can so you what happened? Can you tell Let us me a tell little you bit about that quilt? Yeah. So a couple of years ago, because I belong to a French a quilting group, which we call Bitch and Stitch. It's a patchwork friendship group. And a lady gave me the hexes as a top for my daughter, who's 21. And it looked, it looked like old lady's op shop panel. So I had it, and it was hidden for like two weeks, two years. And then I thought, oh, oh I thought about it, and I thought, I felt guilty for a couple of weeks, so then I cut it up and I put it into this quilt and now it pops because it's got all the purple and the colour in it. So, yeah, everybody likes it, even the lady whose panels at work was I cut up. Yeah, there you are. And then it's got a really busy back because it might have been something I watched from you or someone else who said to have a busy back because then you can't see the mistakes. So that's what I work with. That is so, gorgeous. Yeah. That is gorgeous. And yeah, yeah it, I, lo I love having a busy back. So it, yeah, it just, your quilting blends in. If you have any boo-boos, you don't really see them. But yes, I love that. And you know, purple is my favorite color. So I'm just like, wow. I love yeah. that so much. Before Can that, it was, it was the, the it, look, it was, I said to someone, it was sort of a mothball color. It was just bland, but the purples just really made it Nice. So I'll show you what else I have. Okay. The one I finished yesterday, let me find that. I don't know how long she had this one in the cupboard, but it was a while. So if you like irises, this has got irises all over it. The fabric's beautiful. So that's, it's not a very good space. I should get the step letter out. So there's that one. So she had it in the cupboard and they wanted me to slow down making quilts. So I got this one to make for her. So, yeah, it's that a bit gorgeous. The irises in the border just frame that quilt. So yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm, I have to say I rearranged the blocks from how the lady had it. I didn't like the way she had it. It was sort of too structured. 
and it was one way. So now I've made it so everything turns around so she can have it whatever way she puts on. So, yeah, no, it's really pretty fabric. And then you were talking about rag quilts. This is what happened with the fabric from the rag quilts. It was, um, it did do some masks. I'll move you. It helps. And then... Sorry about that, everybody. So this is what happened with the rag quilt. I made this one. It was a um, Missouri Star uh, tutorial, but she had the triangles going all the same way, but I I just swapped it around. It's a bit hard. Wait a second. I'll stand on the hope chest. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't show the colour. It's really bright oranges and browns and pinks. So, yeah, no, I'm really happy with that. It's going to my niece when I work out how I'm going to quilt it. So for someone who's just started the um, free motion on the sewing machine, I've learned I quilt with abandon is my style. I quilt like I don't care. So, And then there's one more. This is I'll show you. This is the last one. This is my favourite. Again, I didn't follow the colour instructions properly. It's a free tilde quilt. So I'll, I'll climb again up. My husband would be horrified. But he's not home, that's fine. So there you go. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting the um, courage to quilt that one. So, yeah. And then I've got a couple of work in progress, as all good quilters do. I love what you just said. The uh, you quilt with abandon. I think I just wrote that down, so maybe I could make a t. Would it be okay if I made a t-shirt that says that? Yeah. <laughs> I well, love actually, that I so much. actually I quilt like I don't care. I love that so much. Quilt like you don't care. I'm writing that down too, Jill, because that is just that's brilliant. <laughs> quilt. Like you don't care. Well, I'm only learning, so I made I a quilt. Oh, because uh, yeah, you're probably so relaxed, and your quilting probably looks fabulous. Uh, I, we had another question since you're back in your space. Terry wanted to see your sewing machine. Uh, can you show us your sewing machine? Yeah, yeah, I'll get it out. Look, have a, look, look, have a good shot of me boobs. <laughs> Stitch Penny said, cool, as if no one is watching. Yes, that, that, is, that would be the perfect t-shirt. It's like, it was like, was it, Jenny Don said, if, if, you, if you're pressing and someone wants to look at your seams, they're not your friend. Yes. If they're too critical, you know what, go away. Yes. Life's too short to listen to other people criticize that don't do anything. I think so too. I think so too, Jill. Okay. So this is the sewing machine. I'll change it. Again, it shows you how small my room is. I'll stand. I'll move the chair. I stand in the doorway. This is my space. As you can see, I have heaps of it. So I have a Juki DX7. And I've, I got it end of January. And, and I think I've bent, bent the needle thread or hook already. So I have to thread that by myself, which is good. Oh, yeah. And I, I look, I'm being honest. I'll show you the rest of the crap in my sewing room. Okay. So here's, look, 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 here's my mess. Oh, and Paddington. Can't beat Paddington. So that's, yeah, as you can see, I'm not tidy. <laughs> Here, I have to tell you this story because I said I had two other friends. This is a big bolt of wadding. So we have a local fabrics. We don't have many. 
And every time they had a sale, they usually stuff up your sales, what you're entitled to. So I shopped online and I bought the, for the for the um that first quilt I showed you that was on my bed. I bought the fabric for that and the wadding. And what happened was, um, it did, the wadding didn't turn up in the delivery. So I waited a day, and I rang them up, and no one got back to me from the shop. So I rang up customer service. And I said, well, I've got one, but I didn't get the second. And the wadding didn't have a tracking number. And he goes, well, would you like me to refund it or would you like another one? I said, but I like another one because I wanted it. So the one that was missing, that was on the Friday. So the one that was missing turned up on the Monday and the replacement one came on the Wednesday. Wow. And it was on sale, so it was even better. Yeah, yeah. Trinita wanted to ask, uh, do you ever do applique on your quilts? The first the first quilt, I have a beautiful, I have two in the cupboard. The first one that I spoke about, that was an applique with button, button hostage. And the one before that, I did a really old one and it was on needle turn and I really enjoyed that. But lately, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating. I'm You're contemplating. contemplating. What are what are so, you contemplating? Well, there's a book. Well, I, I bought a kit that has it's a watercolor kit. Again, I'll turn it around. That has applique on, so I'm gonna try that. Yes. Ooh, watercolor watercolor quilt kits by Whims. Ooh, that looks fun. Yeah, well, I did one for another quilt that I'm doing that's called, let me find, it's in the drawer. On that grid stuff, it's long time gone. And the interfacing was so thick, I, after I sewed it all together, I unpicked it and sewed it again. So hmm, it's interesting. So no, that's, I'm contemplating this one. I like it. Well, you'll have to let us know what you decide to do if you decide to make it. Uh, just so everyone knows who, who is watching, uh, Jill comes in on the Zooms over in the creative crew, and she usually is good to make us laugh. We have a fun time when she's there. So I invite you, if you ever see a Zoom link over on the creative crew group on Facebook, to join in because we have so much fun there. Yeah. And Jill, if you decide to do that quilt, I hope you keep us updated during the Zooms yeah. and we can follow I will do. the process. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy the Zooms, they're good fun. Yeah, yeah, they they're are. Good. And, and, and if you, I don't know how strict your lockdowns are, but they're a good way to take your mind off it because we found it, we, the one that we've been running because it's that idea of Friday morning and a Friday night with the same crowd. And we still see people we still see each other at the neighborhood house, but the Zoom one's really good. And we've been able to talk about things and help people get through some of the, you know, the tough times. We've all had them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's something that we all have in common, no matter where we are in the world. You're in Australia and we're here in the yeah. States. So even though the lockdowns might be look different from time to time, we've all experienced the same thing. So we have yeah. that kind of a, as a bonding. But uh, we started our Zooms on Creative Crew right almost at a year ago. And okay. um, it's been so much fun just to hang out. And usually one or two or all of us are working on projects while we're Zooming. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's a great way to connect with other people. Um, we did have we a question that just came in. Cheryl wanted to know, how did you enjoy doing the diamond painting? You know what, the first, I used it the first time because I have two, one's a daughter that's 21 and a son that's 24 and they both suffer from anxiety and depression and it was good mind, it was, good, it was a good way to clear my mind. I mean, I found um, sometimes you overthink and you can zone out with the diamond dots. Yeah. I, I must be doing better because I've got two others and I've done hardly any of those, but they they really, really helped. So, I mean, if you need to just do something so you can zone out, they're really good for that. 
Awesome. My mom did one right out a year ago and she, she really enjoyed it. She had a lot of fun with it. Uh, now I know I'm going to mess this name up and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize right now. Zazu asked, how does a watercolor quilt work with washing and etc.? I'm a newbie. Am I missing something? Can you explain the process of that watercolor kit that you have? The watercolor kit, let me, I'll turn around and I'll, so what happens is you get, you get some grid like, it's iron on interfacing and it's got a grid on one side and then you stick, I don't know how to, I need something, you need, let me grab my daughter for a second, hang on. Can you come and film me for a minute? My assistant's coming. <laughs> okay. Yeah, can you just film me? Okay, so, so the grid, but see, the kit came with all these little pieces. And you just drag them around from dark to light, like in the pattern. And then you just sew them all. So you iron, in theory, you iron it all on. And then when you finish, you fold the creases and you sew all along the seams one way and then you do it the other way. Does that make sense? See, I think, it, I think it makes sense because uh, I've been doing quilts like that for a long time, but someone who is new to it, it might still be confusing. So my suggestion would be to go to the search bar on YouTube and search it because they'll walk through the process. But are you able to wash that quilt when you're done or is that strictly an art quilt? Well, this one, it says... Not a lot. I suppose I could when I finish because there's nothing stopping it. But I have to say, uh, when I did it with this one in here on that interfacing, it was really bulky. So I just peeled them all off and did it. It was too bulky on the small. So I just peeled it off and just made it like a normal quilt because it's still a quarter inch seam. Yeah. So um, in saying that, I haven't washed a quilt and I don't wash the fabric. And if it gets dirty, I'll take it to the dry cleaners. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to, and I can blame them if it shrinks. Sometimes oh, and Nitra said uh, that she has seen that, that technique on YouTube before. So if you have questions about how to do it, you can go search. Thank you for letting me know. So you get, you, Thanks, you can find that on YouTube. I mean, it's got instructions for the layout because I tried to cheat with this small one, with this one, and it was too he too thick. So, I mean, if it was for a wall, yes. But if you wanted to make a bigger version, because I've seen a bigger one. I saw a pattern. It was a bigger quilt. I don't know where I put the book, but it was a bigger size. They were like um, six-inch squares joined, and then it had irises on that I'm going to do so Ooh. yeah so I, I think it's just a matter of how good you're sewing using us I'm sure if you had a small stitch it would be okay to wash it yeah yeah but yeah yeah I have to say washing's never a priority with me <laughs> if I wash the fabric I have to iron all the creases out I ain't going there yeah 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 uh Vicky wanted to know what's the name of that pattern one more time Watercolor quilts by Whims, and I got it from Missouri Star. Mm, there you go, Miss Vicky. You can go search that and see if they have it. It's gorgeous. I think, it like, I think thirty-seven dollars sounds familiar, but I could be wrong. Trinita said, uh, is asking, "What is the picture near the cabinet? Is there a picture near the cabinet?" What color is it? <laughs> I know you have a couple of pictures hanging up there. Let me, uh, so I've got Minnie Mouse. 
Yep, there's my map. She's a, she was a diamond. Di there's my map of America people. There's my J that I did one day in a scan and cut. And then there's Daisy. And I think under here is my map of Canada. Or if I lost, no, I've lost it. It didn't work on the printer, but I'll print another one. I promise. <laughs> That's it, I think. Terry said, Jill, you use your space so well. Yeah, you know, we all have different size spaces that we're crafting in, right? And so I love to see how you have your books set up, how you ha have your machine cabinet in there, your computers in your space, uh, and everything just seems very accessible. And even though you have a lot in there and you said you had to tidy up, it looks very organized to me. So it looks like a good space. Yeah, yeah. The, well, the computer's in here because I needed it for doing Zooms on so I could sew in Zoom at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, originally the desk was much smaller before COVID. It was a tiny table, like two foot by four foot. No, yeah. So then I had to go and get a, I got a bigger tabletop. I mean, I can touch the back cupboard and then I'm touching the sewing machine. We're really close. <laughs> so the dog that you saw before, she can't fit. There's no room. She's not happy. So it's just, yeah, but it's like all things. You, you de I decluttered before and got rid of all the fabric that I was never going to use. You know, you keep it. It's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl's asking, uh, do you have the ability where you are in Australia to get out for fabrics and your needs or? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're out of, lock we're out of lockdown. Mm -hmm. We have to wear masks in the supermarket and the chemist and a few shops. Last week when it was my birthday and it was a friend's birthday, we actually went to four, five fabric shops shopping and bought fabric at every shop. Wow. Before that, before that, I was online shopping. So yeah, no, we had, yeah, we, we have in Victoria. Unless you come back from overseas, if you're lucky to get in, we're COVID free. Wow, wow. Have you yeah. uh, have you ever had any other craft? Well, other I've done sewing? this. You do your paper. I've done embroidery, craft. embroidery, scrapbooking, card making. What else? Bit of quilling or sewing. I think that's about it. Knitting. Oh, knitting. I, yeah. I used knitting. Yeah. Well, uh, I've so enjoyed taking a look at your space and seeing your lovely quilts. I'm so glad <laughs> that your husband's not home to see you stand up on your furniture. <laughs> But we got a really great view. Thank you so much, Jill, for That's sharing right. your space. If any of y'all want to hang out with Jill during our creative crew Zooms, we invite you to join us. It's a lot of fun. Jill, yeah. thank you so much for uh, That's right. being brave enough to come on live with us and to share your space. Thank you so much. You know, my pleasure. And, and, and come to the Zooms. We have fun. It's not yeah. about quilting. It's about laughing. Yeah. Yeah. That is so true. That is so true. Everyone is saying thank you so much for sharing your space. You'll have to come back to the live, Jill, when we're done to read everyone's comments. You had some really nice comments on here, and everyone is just saying thank you so much. Um, well, thank Maureen for keeping them nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anitra had a question. Let me get that question before we go. She said, can you do the Zooms without Facebook? Uh, Anitra, we sh I share the Zoom link on Facebook. But if you ever want to join us, message me on Etsy because I know you don't do Facebook, but we would love to have you there. So message me on Facebook and I'll try I mean, on Etsy. You know how to get in touch with me. And uh, and I'll let you know when the next Zoom is and I can send you a link that way because you would love to join us. Yep. yep. All you need is a Zoom app and you're up and running. It's really easy. Yeah, yeah. And you would have so much fun with us over there. Oh, I think you're going to have so much fun reading these comments, Jill. Thank you all so much for hanging <laughs> with us on a Friday evening. And Saturday um, lunchtime. It, right. It's her lunchtime. She's going to go have some lunch. 
I'm getting ready for bed. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. Next Friday at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, we're going to meet with Margaret to see her space. Jill, thank you so much. For I'm trying to think. It's too early. I'll be asleep. Have a nice Please time, Margaret. For that one. You'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank y'all so, so much. And we'll Thanks. see you next time. Bye, Jill. Bye.